Welcome, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome to a conversation around the advanced how to become an workbook. And how many of you have done the how to become an workbook? No, the original one, which is like where is this line right here on my table? This one. How many of you have done this one? The original How to Become Money Workbook. If you haven't, I would highly recommend that you do this. It is absolutely brilliant. And for the longest of time, you know, I mean, Access started with, when I say Access, Gary started. This is probably one of the first books that Gary wrote. The workbook, which is actually a conversation between Raz and him, and I mean Raz and the students around him, and he was being channeled by Ra by Raz, and it was really interesting that how um, amazing, Rani, that's superb. You're gonna love it, absolutely amazing, and um, uh, the entire conversation in the in the original How to Become Money workbook is around your points of views around money and clearing your points of views around money and how your points of views around money limit you from receiving and creating the life that you know is possible. Money is something that really has, money is energy and you are energy. And the only thing that separates you from money is your points of views around money because money really has no point of view. It doesn't have a point of view about, uh, you know, going to A or B or C, it's 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 willing to go to anyone that's that's ready and willing to receive it. You know? So the way I love the way Gary says that you don't have a money problem, you have a receiving problem. So when you look at that energy and you're like, okay, if I don't have a money problem, what am I unwilling to receive? If it's a receiving problem, what am I unwilling to receive? That if I did receive would create the ease with money and everything else. And that's where this book comes in. The Advanced How to Become Money Workbook. This workbook is truly one of the most, it's a very, it's a very intense workbook and I love facilitating it because it covers all those areas of uh, my life where, not just my life, <laughs> where I start to see, I start to explore more of me. It's not, although it is called Advanced How to Become Money Workbook, it's not just about the money. It's more about, it's more about the exploration of who I be. You know, it's about what am I unwilling to be and who can I now be? A question that, you know, is uh, often shared when you're having an, a money so-called issue is who are you unwilling to be? Because whatever money you have right now is what you're willing to have. And the money that you create is what you're willing to be. So when we, you know, for the longest of time, I, you hear a lot of who are you willing to be? Who are you being? You know, we, we hear that in access. And oftentimes we are like, we, we just, we just kind of, rattle it off almost like almost like a like a chant without really being present with the question really being present with the energy of the question and this book this how to become money workbook the advanced one actually gets you to get present with that energy of who am i unwilling to be because if you're willing to be all energies you can have money, you can choose, you can receive, you can be. It's when you are unwilling to be something that you can't receive what you've been asking for. So in my in my universe, in my world, this this book is really not just about money. It's more about me. Like I bought this book when it was released in America in Rome. I mean sorry, in Rome, and I had it signed by Gary. And I, I used to carry this book everywhere I went for the first few years. And I would be like, 
I'm just going to open this book and I'm just going to read what's required of me. It truly did shift so much in me because just what I needed in that moment, I would get. It's like, you know, it's like the foundation, right? You open the foundation, you open the foundation manual and you get to exactly what you require to change in your world in that moment, which is why it's like often, you know, you look at a foundation, foundation class, you look at the manual, you know, like, oh, this, this just changes it for me. This gives you the awareness of what's required with this workbook too. And then they signed it too. And I mean, it does make it a little special for me. <laughs> Yet, what what can we receive from this advanced how to become money workbook that we haven't yet been willing to receive? So another thing that this this book covers is it covers the knowing, being, perceiving, and receiving that we talk so much about in the foundation, which is why the foundation is a prereq to do this class. And reading the original How to Become Money workbook that I showed you earlier, this one, is also a prereq. Actually, Gary suggests reading it at least five times. Reading it five times, but he says, read it at least once, suggest it five times. So, yes, that is a prereq. And, um, the, you know, in the foundation, we touch upon knowing, being, perceiving, and receiving. And, we, you know, we we, we get more clarity around the upper harmonics and the lower harmonics of um, <clears throat> knowing, being, perceiving, receiving, and thoughts, feelings, emotions, and sex and no sex. And what this book does is it actually covers all those topics in depth. So if you're looking to be more of you, if you're looking to be the infiniteness of you, that requires you to know, be, perceive, and receive, which very few of us really explore because we are so busy with our thoughts and our feelings and our emotions. Our thoughts and feelings and emotions seem like seem like so big and real that even when you ask, what can I know, be, perceive, receive, it's almost like, but I want to hold on to my thoughts, feelings, and emotions, and I want to ask this question. This this book sets you free from that because you start to recognize that every thought, feeling, and emotion is just an invention. And if you're creating your money from thoughts, feelings, and emotions, what are you creating? What are you creating? You're creating finiteness. You're creating lack. <clears throat> so... actually reading a certain part of this book and wondering what you could talk about that could actually contribute to you right now. Yeah, so it's again about the thoughts, feelings, and emotions. And when we know that it is an invention, you start to recognize that your money reality is also an invention. It's not real, which is why today you may feel that, feel that, okay, I have enough money and tomorrow you may feel that you don't have any money because it's an invention. You're creating it. You're creating it with every choice that you make. But when you have no thoughts, feelings and emotions, or in other words, when you are interesting point of view around your thoughts, feelings and emotions, and you start to play more with uh, knowing, being, perceiving and receiving, you actually start to create your financial reality and your entire reality from the space of the upper harmonics, from the space of question, from the space of who am I being? What can I be? This book really explores, I mean, in, in my world, I, I got, I really got the expansiveness of knowing, being, perceiving and receiving when I facilitated this book the first time, which was almost five years back now, six years back or whatever, don't remember. And the one thing that also got me to be really present with my money situation is the definitions that I have of money. You know, the definitions that I have of who I am. And when I have defined myself as somebody or I have defined myself or I have defined myself as not somebody, I can never be that. You know, it's like if I've defined myself as not having enough money, can I ever create the money that I'm asking to create? If I've defined myself as ordinary, 
can I ever be that energy that I came here to be? That is unique. That is different. That is extraordinary. So these are the different energies that we explore and we play with and you start to get more present with, okay, what are the limitations that I'm choosing? What are the limitations that I have chosen up until now with money, with my body, with my, with my relationships, with creation? I mean, how many limitations have you chosen with creation? You know, you've limited your creation by defining who you are. What if you could, what if you could undefine all those definitions? How much would your receiving expand? So yes, my lovelies, this is one of those books that is a little, I remember the first time when we did it, there were participants who were like, I can't keep my eyes open during this book read. And I'd be like, I know, me too, because it was my first time that I was facilitating it. And as I was facilitating it, I was getting facilitated. I was like, damn, there's so many points of views around money. And it's not just money. There's so many points of view that I have around me. There's so many points of view that I have around other people. There's so many points of view, the definitions that I have about who's rich, who's not rich, what is rich, what is not rich. I have so many points of views of what is poor, what is not poor. And all those points of views, all those definitions that come to the surface for you to look at and be really present with and be like, Changing it now, now, this moment, changing it, shifting it, shifting my reality, asking for change. So one of the contents that is, you know, some of the contents that are in this book are the first chapter is being and receiving. But you start to explore who you be. You start to explore what is receiving. Like what is receiving? So many of us have talked about receiving, but we don't even know what is receiving because in our world, it's more of a transactional reality that we've created that we have defined as receiving. It's more of a give and take. Like I did so much for you. Now, what are you going to do for me? Or I worked so hard, so I should, I worked so many hours, so I should receive so much money. That's all a transactional reality that you've created around your receiving. Or I've invested so much in my in my in my bonds or in my stocks, or I've created this garment with so much money by investing so much money into it. So I must at least get this much. This is all a transactional reality that you know you you create that has you making the giving and taking and the investment and then taking from the investment uh, really significant and really solid that doesn't allow you to receive more. But if you start to play with receiving and you start to, you know, say, for instance, you're creating a garment for an exhibition and you have an exhibition and you have a, you know, you're, you're selling, you have, you're selling garments in an exhibition and probably you invested a certain amount of money and you, you have a certain formula that, you know, this much into this much and that's the price I'm going to put up. Great way of working makes it really easy. But what if you could actually start to be in the space of receiving from the garment? information of how much it would actually like to sell for what could it create in the world if you started to include receiving information receiving awareness from all your creations what if you could start to receive the information what if you could start to receive the information from every creation of yours whether it's a garment whether it's a creation of you created a party, whether you created your family, not that you're selling your family, but <laughs> what if what if what if every every creation of yours could create your money? And what if you could receive from it in a totally non-linear way, in a way that contributes to you, in a way that gifts you that goes way beyond the transactional reality. That's only possible when you're willing to know, be, perceive, and receive. Yes, my dear Bhavna, I see your hand up, darling. Yeah, good evening. Good evening. Um, may I ask, can we get a recording for this? Yes, you will. Oh, lovely. Because That's your lovely recording. hearings, I, I oh. forget them by the end. <laughs> worry about it it's going to be on youtube also yeah thank you thank you I so much share. you're welcome you're welcome so does anyone have any questions around this 
any questions around? I mean, I would love to see your faces. Please don't switch off your cameras. Pavna, come back. <laughs> Yay, Jatinda. Yay, I see more faces. So wonderful when I get to see faces. Okay. So does anyone have any questions? Ranjana. Hi. Hi. Does anybody have any questions around the advanced how to pick a money workbook? All around money, all around anything. Anything. Go for it. <clears throat> okay. So you just want me to talk? I will talk. <laughs> I enjoy talking. <laughs> all right. So the first chapter is being and receiving. The second chapter is what if everything was not was about possibility and nothing was about the problem. This, this, what if there was no problem in your life? An exercise that I actually like to play with when I, when I read this chapter, I was like, what if that was my reality, that there was no problem? What if I didn't know problems? Would problems find me then? No. What if the only energy that I, and not from a space of separation, but from choice, what if the energy that I'm choosing to be and to receive is possibilities? And on that, I would like to play a little exercise here, just a little game here with all of you. You would like to? Would you like to? Yes or no? Yes? Okay, let's go for it. So let's get present with all the problems that you have right now. Yes, Priyanka. Awesome. Yay. Yes, Moza. Okay. So let's get present with all the problems that you have right now. Like all the problems. Be it financial, be it physical, be it with your bodies, be it with relationships, be it with your business with creation. Just get present with all your problems. Don't go into the problem, please. Like when I say we get present, in my world, it's more like I'm standing on a platform watching trains go by. I don't jump onto the trains. I just watch the trains go by. That is me getting present with the problems that, okay, I have this problem, I have this problem, I have this problem, I have this problem, you know, stuff like that. <clears throat> get the problems. Maybe someone's going through a divorce. Maybe someone's got a court case. Maybe someone's got a troubling child. Maybe someone's business is not making money. Maybe someone's got a body issue. Just get present. And maybe somebody has all of it. You know, get present with all of that. Okay. Thank you. And a little more. Try to take the judgment out of the problem. Like literally be interesting point of view about all of this and just be present with it, keep looking at it. Don't run away from it. It won't consume you. It can't consume you. You're infinite. For this problem, for these problems to consume you, you have to believe that you are finite. Just be present with it. And now ask, if this wasn't a problem, what possibility is this? With everything that you just defined as a problem, if this was not a problem, what possibility is this? Could be a divorce, could be a court case, could be, could be a like I said, a child, a problem child, or issues with parents. Can we read this book even if we haven't taken the foundation class? No, darling, that is a free read, my love. I'm sorry. <clears throat> there's a lot that you, um, there's a lot of information, a lot of clearings that you would require in the from the foundation before you hop onto this class. This class is a little more in depth. So yes, you do need the foundation. But you have time. Get yourself to a foundation class, love. 
Okay, so this was not a problem. What possibility is this? If this was not a problem, what possibility is this? What beauty lies beneath what I have defined as a problem? When you define something as a problem, what you can receive from it is the problem. What if you asked for the beauty to show up? What if you asked for the possibility to show up? What gift lies beneath this problem? Now look at the energy. Did it change and did it shift? Or is it still as heavy as it was? Is it lighter for any of you? Much, much lighter. Thank you, Chandana. Very You're light. welcome. You're welcome, Radhika. Megakshi says, yes, amazing. Yeah. Moza, yes, awesome. Yeah. This is how you change a problem. You know, you shift the energy because it's a problem because that's what you've defined it as. It's a problem because that's what you've invented it as. You, It's a problem because that's what you are perceiving it as. What if it's a possibility? What if that's a possibility that you have been asking for? It doesn't allow, you don't allow yourself to receive it because you're so... You're so involved and so busy with trying to solve the problem. What if there was no problem to begin with? Ah, right, wrong, good, bad, pop, pop, online shots, boys, proverbs, and beyonds. So look at this energy of <clears throat> if I was creating my life and I knew not problems, what would I know? What would I choose? Who would I be? Everything that doesn't allow you to know, be, perceive, and to receive that. Would you destroy that? Create that, please. Right, wrong, good, bad, pop, pop, online shots, boys, proverbs, and beyonds. And then we have this really interesting chapter, which is trusting yourself. Which is so brilliant, this chapter. This trusting yourself you know just going through that whole section and clearing and fucking and podding and just getting aware of all those areas of yourself where you don't trust you like you know how many of you don't even trust you with money how many of you have decided you're not good with money how many of you have decided you don't know how to invest how to play how to create money like i don't know i don't trust myself can you do it for me where you, when you start to be that energy with money, the universe hears you. The universe hears you. And if you don't trust you, is the universe going to going to have your back? If you don't trust you, is anyone around you going to trust you? Because the energy that you're sending out into the world is, don't trust me, I don't trust myself. A question in the chat. My sister's always keeping in debt from online mon money lender, even after we pay for her debts last year. This year she has another one. What would I do to help her? Don't try to help her, my love. Ask her what you love about being in debt. What do you love about being in debt? We have a point of view that people must not like to be in debt. But what if you could actually get so vulnerable with yourself that you could actually start to look at, do I like to be in debt? That I keep creating debt? What do I enjoy about being in debt? And you know, being in that question and writing down, like write down five things. Ask your sister to write down five things every day. 
What do I enjoy about being in debt? What does debt create for me that money cannot? Because debt and money are not the same in the sense. Okay, being in debt and having money is not the same. Okay, being in debt and having money is not the same. Being in debt is also the energy. The word debt is an energy of death. So if we keep telling ourselves, I'm in debt, I'm in debt, I'm in debt, you're actually creating this energy of death, death, death. Change the energy by saying, I have past expenditures. What will it take to be present with the past expenditures? And how many people are addicted to being in debt? How many people are choosing debt because some they've decided and concluded someday they will be wealthy, someday they will be rich. And that's a utopian ideal that they operate from. When you have an utopian ideal that one day I will do this, one day I will have the money, one day, one day, one day, you're actually pushing that future far away from you. And you're, you're running off, you're, you're really creating a utopian ideal that doesn't exist. It's like a mirage that you keep running after. So all the utopian ideals of one day I will be rich, that doesn't allow you to be present with your financial reality, will you destroy and uncreate that, please? Yes. Right, wrong, good, bad, 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 online charts, boys, poets, and beyonds. Being present with your financial reality can be very intense for some people because they don't want to even look at their bank accounts. They don't want to see how much money they have because they're scared. They don't want to look at how much they owe people. Because they're scared. They don't want to look at the numbers. They don't want to look at it. They're like, I'll look at it tomorrow. No, oh, I don't have time now. I'll do it tomorrow. But that's you, that's you coping with your financial reality instead of being a power to control the creativity, the awareness, the joy, and the money with your financial reality. If you're willing to be the I am's with your financial reality, you get to change it instantly because there's no escaping. There's no coping with your financial reality. There's a choice of changing it. There's a choice of creating more. There's a choice of looking at your financial reality with total allowance as a creation. And being the energy of, wow, I created shit loads of debt, you know, Wow, I created not enough money. Ninta. <laughs> it's the energy of, oh, I created not enough money. Oh, I've created shit loads of debt. Okay, that's my creation. So if I've created this, can I change this? But most of us, when we create something and it shows up as something that's not what you wanted it, like debt, for instance, you go into, how do I solve this problem now? So you've already gone into a conclusion that it's a problem. You've already gone into the conclusion of you have to solve this. But what if it's not solving? What if it's not about solving the problem? What if it's about creating the possibility and receiving from that possibility? And there's also a wonderful book written by Simon Velasquez. There's also a class called Getting Out of Debt Joyfully. And it's a brilliant book, an amazing class. If you would like more information on that, you can always choose that. We also talk about it in the Business Done Different class. And if you want that, you can also look into that. Um, start with, start with, what do I love about being in debt? Start, start with that. What have I decided debt can give me that money cannot? I drunk, good, bad, but pop, online shops, boys, poets, and beyond. And then we have, there are eight chapters in this workbook. Then we have chapter four, which is sex, money, and receiving, which is more about, you know, sex is the, lower harmonics of receiving because in this reality 
receiving is something that's not really not really done much. It's more about, you know, receiving from somebody generally is more about I will have sex or I will not have sex because that's how this reality functions. It's more about rejection. It's more about resistance instead of receiving. And then we have, what do you want to do with your life? Like, what do you want to do with your life? What do you want to do with your life? You know, you hear again these utopian ide ideals and you hear people saying, oh, I'm looking for the purpose and I'm looking for this, I'm looking for that, and you know. But hey, what do you really want to do with your life? This chapter gets you to be so present with that that you start to read. There's no escaping that then. There's no right and there's no wrong. It's more about what am I choosing to do with this life that I have right now? What am I choosing to do with this? What am I wanting to create as my life? And getting really present and being energetically congruent with that. And then we have wealth and fortune. I love this chapter. I love this section where we talk about wealth and we talk about fortune. What is the difference between having money, being rich, and being wealthy? What is what is creating a fortune? What is having a fortune? What is creating for the future? It's it's just so expansive and it, it just and kind of starts to unfold. Yeah. It starts to unfold so much. Yes, yes. Um, not just not just in the now, but it actually starts to get you to receive from the future. It's amazing. And then we have the enthusiasm for living, where instead of having the tolerance of every day, tolerating your life or just surviving your life or just waking up and saying, okay, I'm not dead. I'm still alive. You know, you're actually have an enthusiasm for life. You have an enthusiasm for living. You wake up every morning. You're like, what can I create today? You have that enthusiasm. You have that enthusiasm. You have that joy. You have those possibilities. And you have choice. And that, and that energy of enthusiasm, when you allow it into your world, it has you creating so much more than what you ever thought was possible. And then we have the chapter eight, which is money is easy. Like, really? Money is easy? Kind of breaks all those shackles and all those points of views or where you decided it's difficult, it's hard. And then chapter nine, a future beyond anything you've ever seen. Again, an absolutely beautiful, beautiful chapter where you, you start to get present with the future that you're creating and you start to, what if, what if the future that you know is possible is available to you now? What if the future that you have been asking for is available to you now? Would you choose to have it? Or would you just put it off? That someday, one day, and everywhere you push the future so far away from you and so far ahead from you, but you find yourself running after the future instead of just choosing to create it, would you destroy and uncreate that, please? By trying to that, but talk online shots, boys, poets, and beyonds. I just wanted to introduce this energy of the advanced How to Become Money workbook to all of you here tonight. I know some of you have done it earlier, and for some of you, this is going to be your first one. I have no point of view of what this can create for you. I have no point of view. If you don't hop on, even if you don't hop on to the class, and if you have done the original How to Become Money workbook, I highly recommend that you buy the Advanced How to Become Money workbook. If, you, if you've done the foundation and the original How to Become Money workbook, get the Advanced How to Become Money workbook and read it. It just gets easier when you get facilitated also as for whatever. 
I won't tell you why, but it's just kind of, it's more fun when we all do it together because, you know, so many points of views show up. And even if we don't get to share our points of views, energetically, the points of views are big. So when we pock and pot that, we pock and pot all the energy around the points of views that you have about money. So each one of you is invited. Please join us. And we are really excited and looking forward to starting on the 29th. I think it's going to be three days a week. And we are going to finish it in three weeks. No, three weeks or four weeks, something like that. I think we have 10 calls. Yes, Moza, me too. I can't wait. Really can't wait. I've been counting the days. This is going to be my, I think, 15th. No, maybe 11th or 12th book read. The, like, and every time I read this book, so much shows up simply because I've changed so much. The book doesn't change, but I've changed simply because. So when I have changed, I'm willing to go deeper or I'm willing to look at look at the space that, yes, Shinta, me too. <laughs> and I'm willing to look at the space or where, you know, right now I am with money. Right now I am with me that I am with receiving. And it's going to be like, okay, can I have more of me, please, now? Can we expand this now, please? Can we, can we, can we be more space? Hey, Shinta. <laughs> lovely. So this, my lovely friends, is a little sneak peek into this fabulous book. And I look forward to seeing you all. Um, I will share. Ninta, can we share the link? Let me see if I can share it with you. Do you have the link? Do you want me to share it? When will it be? I am just sharing it with you. Mm -mm. It's going to be in the evenings. I'm going to put it in our group for everyone to have. It's going to be, Indonesia time is going to be 8 p.m., darling. Yeah. And Dubai time is going to be 4 p.m. India time is 6.30 p.m. Amazing. So thank you all for joining and we look forward to playing with this amazing Florina. Oh, <laughs> hi, it's been so long. I'm coming. Oh, my dead baby, thank you for showing up, handsome boy. Oh, look at him, he's happy. Happy Good. talking about money. Ooh, I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, my love. Yep. Bye, Bye guys.